Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming to you all today with um, a kind of a review of my first full month in the Crafty Gemini Quilt Club. And I'm going to show you my project for the month, which is my very first quilt. So if you're interested in seeing what I made then stick around. If not, I will see you next time. Um, let's go ahead and just, as always, get this video started. I'll see you in a bit. get ready to just have a girl chat video let's get this party started kind of feel like pink but not 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 really <laughs> let's go see you in a bit hello this is Dana with the freedom please channel and essence of me.com this is my first video for the crafty Gemini quilt club and I don't know how to say that without it sounding like a mouthful so I'll just say quilt club um, it started at the beginning of January right now it's February <laughs> when I'm recording this video but I wanted to finish the entire month and come in and just talk a little bit about my progress show you my project my project and also tell you a little bit about how the club is set up um, as far as I'm aware you can still join the club and when you join you get access to everything that we've done this far thus far and so I think that's a great thing I don't know if she has a um, intent to close it at any time but that ha that information hasn't been shared with us as a group or at least I haven't seen it so we started at the beginning of January um, the quilt club is meant for everything from beginners to seasoned quilters um, I was totally newbie I had a sewing machine and some like notions but my sewing machine was dusty and I had stuff from when my baby was a baby <laughs> and my baby is 14 and so I had to pull out the machine and I had to pretty much just start from scratch. Um, one of the reasons why I joined the quilt club was because I'd seen many of Crafty Gemini's tutorials and I love her um, style of instruction and I just felt like if anybody can help you it would be probably her <laughs> uh, and especially in the the method using video like she's very efficient at using her method in instruction I also sent her a message or left her a comment asking her if it would be um, if everything will be accessible and um, applicable to a new sewer and a new quilter and she assured me that it was and I signed up and she was right she was right so with that said every month we have one focal project now you could do everything you can do nothing it's up to you you just pay the once a month fee and you have access to all the information so we do one focal project a month we do one swap a month which is an optional swap and there is a block of the month mystery quilt that will go on for the entire year, which is also another optional project, optional project. So therefore, in the quilt club, you can get up to three, do three projects a month, each being different projects. Um, there's also a weekly I think it's weekly a weekly live stream which is awesome and sometimes she does tutorials in that too and what else we get a weekly tip video 
um, we get a, a possibility of winning a, a, a giveaway once a month. Like the first month, she gave away a sewing machine. The, the month of February, she's going to be giving away a, like a big a big kit of of stuff for the recipient quilting stuff. And all of the projects, well, not all the projects, our main project that we do is, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to only be available to Quilt Club members. So the main project, that one main project, is not available on her YouTube channel or on her website. And I recall her saying through one of our live streams that she intends to keep it that way, that that is one of the features she wanted to make available is a incentive to uh, Quilt Club subscribers, okay? So that's all of the like lowdown. And I'm not going to say all of that every month. I'll have to point you back to this video. But I think it's important, like if you're interested in doing it, you get that one project, you get a swap, which you can choose to do, which is different. And so far our swaps have been items where she already has a video tutorials on them and then the block of month we just started and that is we don't know what the end is going to be it's a mystery and so all of the all of the projects have videos that walk you through and so let's get to the month of January for the month of January our project was a quillo a quilt pillow and the videos that we received are, were very very detailed and it's it was just it was great it took you through each stage it broke it down and if you've ever looked at her tutorials the angle of her camera is always like right at the project so you know exactly what she's doing everything from how to select your fabrics how to cut your fabrics how to make sure that your fabrics are straight she did a whole video series for beginners on what supplies you need, what type of ruler you um, she recommends, you know, the different options. And and it just made it so that that first introduction into quilting for me, it was a, a common experience because I didn't know what I was doing and I couldn't just look over it and ask somebody to help me because it is in an online fashion. But the members of the group have been fantastic as well as she. Vanessa is very attentive and responsive and so it's just been great. So the first project was a Quillo. Our first swap was um, a mug rug, which I will um, leave a link in the description box to my unboxing of my swap box for my mug rug. And I'll also put a picture in while I'm talking, but it was a mug rug. And then for the block of the month, I don't have a block to show for that because our very first month, she just released all the fabrics and everything that we um, need to have in order to complete the block and I will put a link in the description box showing I showed a, a little I showed the package of fabric in my um, so new craft vlog that I really I put up um, not too long ago so that's what we did for this month so here is my quillo And it looks a little bit off because of this picture, <laughs> but here it is. And here's the back. It is very soft and fluffy. And now here is the best part. And I can't, because of my location, I can't like. So you can put your hand inside and you can pull out the quilt. Isn't this so cool? Okay. And I got to just open it. I will insert pictures here because that will make it so much easier um, for you to. Um, so here it is. Here is the um, back or front. I mean, it's like two sided pretty much. Now my fabrics, I actually bought my fabrics from um, fabric.com 
And because I was so nervous and did not know what I was doing, this was a wonderful project that was challenging, but at the same time, it was easy. The main fabrics, these two I purchased at fabric.com for $1.99 a yard. If I would have realized that it would have been so awesome, I would have purchased more. <laughs> but um, once the quilt is actually pulled out, the, the block is, is on the inside, so you can't see it. So I'm going to pull the block out and show you that. Now, my fabric for that, or I can't fold it back up when I'm sitting in this angle, so I'm going to just have to push it out. The fabric that I purchased for the other blocks, I bought from Joann's, and I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, if you all have questions, because I don't know, it was just great. It was really great, and um I did even did a little bit of top stitching on the top, even though we just, we did really basic like stitch in the ditch. And then I wanted to do something a little bit different. I purchased these two fabrics from Joann's as well, all three of these from Joann's. And this is, was a repeat of this fabric and, um, it was just awesome. It was really awesome. While I'm talking, I will either put some pictures here or I'll put more pictures towards the end. Um, in the closing, for this first month, I can say that I, I can go and set up my machine and prepare to sew without feeling anxious or feeling nervous. I feel like I can go and do it and do it and do well. Um, I also know from working on these projects that I can now sew in a straight line most of the time. <laughs> Not all the time, most of the time. And um, because of her other videos, like I have, um, I know what tools and what tools I have, what they do pretty much, if that makes sense. And that feels good. Vanessa is awesome. And her and her team, alone would have made this more than worth what I spend a month to be in the club. And um, and so that is great. But the women, and I believe it's a few men, that are a part of the club just far exceed that. So when we first began, we were doing the mug rugs. And you could choose to uh, do an applique or not and I wanted to give it a try and I basically told my swap partner hey I'm new at this and she was okay with it and that gave me an opportunity to try out the technique I did not know how to handle the settings on my sewing machine or what to choose I mean people were telling you what to do but I didn't know what was what basically and I recall someone taking a picture of her sewing machine, marking the picture to help me to see what I needed to do or which setting I needed to select. And that just was, it was just, I mean, it's just helpful. And she didn't have to. And it wasn't just her and different people chime in. And, you know, as I was cutting my pieces, I was, as you're selecting your fabrics, all of those things, it just makes it a warm community environment and I know that's what she set out to do with this quilt club and she is just rocking at doing that so that is it so for this month my first month as a quilter I have made one quilt I made several mug rugs I also made some quilt blocks outside of the quilt group because I wanted to maybe do some stuff on the ground near me which I have done as well and so it's off to a great 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 start and I find that it's a great compliment to my yarn crafting because I have to set up things in order to do it so I can only do it one day a week or so and I can still keep knitting or crocheting every day like I normally do and so they go well together so that is it and um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Um, if you have any questions about the Quilt Club, you can go to um, CraftyGemini.com. Because if you go to the Quilt Club site, it just has a login. But if you go to her site, I believe it links you over so you can see the description of all the benefits of being a 
um, a club member um, on a, I think it's on her website. I closed everything down um, and I wanted to just jump back in here before I show one last clip of actually uh, pulling out the Quillo so that you can see the how it opens and how it closes. But I wanted to also do in this video a special, special thanks to my daughter. All of the pictures pretty much that you've seen throughout this video, she did while I was working on my project. Like I have a ton of pictures and she did them all. Um, also, um, she, um, you know, sets up my lights and all of that. And I just wanted to make sure I said that in here. So all the pictures that you see, she did those and she sets up all my lights and all of that. And so she was a big part of this process. Also, when you saw the picture of me on the floor with my, the quilt on the floor, like she helped me pin all of it. And so she helped me a lot with, um, this project and I'm sure many more to come. So I did not want to forget to say that on video and so now we can get to the closing and to the final clip showing the quillo so i will see you all for the so new update for february probably in the next couple of weeks i still have a little bit to do for february and i will keep you all posted on my progress um in the comment section let me know are you a sewer are you a quilter if so you know what are some resources that you can share with me whether it's channels on youtube or where you like to get your fabrics or anything like that that would be fun to um find out and if you are not a sewer or a quilter what are you working on right now um, what are you knitting or crocheting and um, especially with this cold weather because you have plenty of time in this cold weather to get some stuff done okay so I will see you all sooner than later take care and goodbye I realized that I was talking and I, because of my space I'm limited on being able to um, fold everything back into this Quillo but I thought that would be like the best thing for you to see because I know when we first did it I couldn't visualize how this all will come together so what I'm going to do is try to stand and this may affect our lighting a little bit because I'm going to have to disrupt my setup and I'm going to try to stand here we go okay I'm going to move everything Okay, so here is the, the Quillow, and you can pull it out. And when you pull it out, it opens to the blanket, okay? The size of it is, it can fit a twin size bed. So this is really, really big. Ooh, I don't want to get lipstick on it, really big. Now, to close it, here we go. Now I gotta see if I can remember. <laughs> okay, fold it. And. And here's the opening. And now you put your hand in and you flip it. I'm all struggling. <laughs> Here we go. Corners. And there. Now it looks a little bit off center because it is just a little bit because it's not tucked all the way in. There it is. And I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.
I'm 